Good morning, Nigeria. It's the Breakfast Show on TSL Nigeria TV, where we have news on politics, sports, entertainment, and so much more. Did you know that we also have feature stories where we talk about nothing but everything? It's the Breakfast Show on TSL Nigeria TV. Good morning and welcome to the breakfast show on TSL Nigeria TV. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and I have with me my beautiful ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Did you guys sleep well? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure how I slept. Uh, I slept well, I just woke up really early and then I was just like, Ugh, now what? <laughs> I, I think I was dreaming and in my dream I was like, it's time for work by 5. And you didn't dream about me? No. <laughs> wow. I, I saw that we had every day. This, this connection. No connection. But I see you every day. I see you my night. So what? I mean, is it too much to ask? That, that's yes. enough. <laughs> very, very quickly this morning, we're going to the newspaper this morning. Um, and I have with me The Guardian for Saturday, March 23rd, 2019. And the major story here says, Jubilation in Oshu over Adeleke's victory at election tribunal. Jubilation in Oshu over Adeleke's victory at election tribunal. Oyetola to appeal judgment. And then INEC declines comments. Atiku Makinde judge. Loud verdict. You see this on page 5 of your Guardian newspaper. There's a bit of entertainment here. It says Davido takes Niger music to Dreamville Festival. Uh -huh. And you see this on page 23 of the Guardian newspaper. Vote only those who would deliver Buhari. Deliver. Buhari tells voters. Interesting. Mm. You will see this on page 6. And for the last, you will see um, supplementary polls. Abubakar has INEC security agents on violence free exercise. You see this on page three of your Guardian newspaper. And then we'll just quickly go to sports, and you will see here that Nigeria beats Seychelles three to one despite Ozoho's poor goalkeeping. That's a very interesting story. For more information, do go to your local vendors and get more. Alright guys, what do you have for me, Joy? Uh, okay, so I have the Saturday Vanguard with me today for March 23rd, 2019. Uh, first story, first of all, there's a senator, Adeleke, or should I say Governor Adeleke, even though he's not being reinstated. Court nullifies APC's victory. And he's there with the two fingers in the air, or four fingers, both <laughs> hands, with a peace sign. Uh, we have declared Adeleke Wina, says we run election illegal. Ruling reverberates across Nigeria, PDP. APC kicks Oyetola to appeal. Atiku Ekweremadu, CUPP react. You can find all of that on page 5 of your Saturday Vanguard. And there's a big picture of um, a musician, Simi Sola, for some reason, and she's looking pretty fire. But we have call for the Kumbo Sacks sparks resistance from ex militants. You can find that on page 45. Then we have Judicial Intrigues Cloud Supplementary Post today on page 9. Ganduje Otram Lalong in Do or Die Battle, page 10. INEC protest military action, army indicts police. Dogara raises alarm, writes ICC, US, EU, UK. You can find that on page 6. And of course, in sports, congratulations are in order for the Super Eagles. Igalo Onyekuru on target as Super Eagles top group after win over Seychelles. You can find the details inside your Saturday Vanguard for March 23rd, 2019. Remember to visit a local vendor to get all the stories on today's Vanguard. All right, Nike, what do you have for us? Okay, I have the Weekend Observer, and uh, we have a graphic picture saying Thanksgiving at all states Governor Godwin Enagosake Obaseki with his deputy, retired, retired Honorable Philip Shaibu, being congratulated by the chairman of APC Adele State Barrister Anslem Ojezwa during the Thanksgiving service held at Sam Ogbemudia College, Benin City, yesterday. 
And now, so another top story is Obaseki leads Edo APC in Thanksgiving service after a successful poll. You can find the story on the page two of the Naj of the Weekend Observer. And also, the utility of legislature ranking rules. You can find that story on page eighteen. And um, why graduates do all the jobs? Very interesting. Mm -hmm. You can find that full story on page five. And um, to the sports. We want to keep bringing Super Eagles to Asaba, Okowa State. For much more details, you can go to your local vendor and pick a copy of the Observer and get full details. All right, guys, so that's it for newspaper today. And um, moving on today on the breakfast show, we have a very interesting topic, and we will be talking about the family, a closer family, closely closing needs. So when we go, we'll go on a short break now, and when we return, we will be talking about it. Hot. The family is not just the unit of society, but the unit of eternity. This is because this fundamental unit creates a strong sense of stability emotionally, physically, psychologically, and morally to both parents and children. Now, this statement might seem a little bit biased, but it has been proven time and time again that this social strata called family is indeed the unit of the society. Now, coming home to Nigeria, an aspect of family dynamics happens to be interpersonal relationship between parents and children, irrespective of their sizes. And that brings us to the question we would be discussing today. Are bigger families closely knit? than smaller families. The bond ratios and bigger families and smaller families, what bond do they really have? And joining us on set, we have two beautiful ladies looking really fine. Yes. Hello, Hello ladies, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Hey. Please introduce yourself. I'm Aisha Deco. And I'm Bella Adudu. And of course, they'll be joining us in this segment to talk about families. So ladies, bigger families, smaller families, what are the dynamics that comes with them? I want Aisha, Aisha yeah. <laughs> Let me say, um, the size of the family doesn't really matter to me. Okay. okay. I think it's how the kids are being raised. Mm -hmm. I think it's upbringing. For me, it's the responsibility of the parents to to nurture the children, to instill values, cultures, teach them how to love themselves, togetherness. In their children hmm. so when it comes to closeness the parents really needs to do a lot of job that's true but i for, for a larger family i think the stress is more hmm. for a larger family because they, they are they are big hmm. and smaller Take family. It from you. Yeah, who, who else has a larger family like you have an experience of having larger siblings okay <laughs> you, okay i do two hands in there okay I, yes, Asha, I, do do. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do too okay okay uh, yes Europe. yes i have a large we have a large family okay that was it like number it's yeah. Wow. yeah. Ah, that's strong. We all know. It's actually uh, polygamous. Yeah. Okay. So I won't give back to eight, just eight. And it's still large. Jesus, be an inhaler. She needs to live around eight times or any twins and triplets. Eight times. Like one, two, three, four, two, eight. Yes. yes. So, how was it like basically having yeah, other siblings? Growing up was because though I have my uh, stepbrothers and sisters, mm. we, we had that bond. Okay. okay. Because we are much, and I think there's a strong connection between us because we are more, and we tend to have a lot of people to play with. Okay. So we, we are always together. There's this bond between us. Hmm. We can be cacos, three together, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, yes. oh, we're going to talk, uh, yeah. talk about that. Thank you. Yes. I love and, it. Uh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's <laughs> um, you know, it can be cacos, like three people together, clicks. two people together, yes. like yeah. clicks. 
But at the end of the day, we all disagree. But at, at we, we agree. Okay. And because of the way my parents brought us up, mm. I, don't, I don't even know if this is my stepbrother mm. when I was small or my love stepsister. Okay. We love each other and we are like one. Mm. So I think the parents, my parents actually made it easy for us. Hmm. They have the more very important role to play when it comes to the closeness of the children. Hmm. So the size doesn't really matter. Okay. Because they have some families that are, that are small, small but yeah. they don't bond. So you're saying it's, it varies from family to family, irrespective of yeah. the size. But yeah. so yeah. talking about it, bouncing off of what, what she said, you mm -hmm. know, as much as she, she gave a whole conversation about how parents are involved, parents should do, I noticed you know, yeah. from what she said, that the fact that they were bigger was a factor that made them really, really close. Now, yes. I saw, while I was getting ready and doing my research and all that jazz, I saw a couple of reports that pointed to the direction that children in bigger families always find themselves more closely knit. Now, this is usually because of the fact that because the children are so many, the parents do not have enough time to focus on each and every child. So they have to bound so together, to take care of themselves and okay. care for themselves. Okay. So this points to the direction that certainly, most definitely, bigger families are more closely knit, especially between the children. Okay, and the kids are more Okay, okay. And they take We're coming to okay, that. Yes. Talking about bigger families, you're yeah. saying something about cliques yes and because because bigger families are uh the parents do not really have time to share uh love we're coming to that as well so adrian <laughs> i know that you come from a very big family you yes. just indicated that so talk about cliques to us and she's here to oppose the motion <laughs> <laughs> i'm not necessarily saying i'm opposing the motion okay. I'm, what i'm saying is that um there's this thing in bigger families i'm come, i come from a family of 10. Oh. Yes. Well, technically, she, she's more than you, so she has more leverage, but go on. <laughs> okay, so I come from a family of 10, and in my family, everybody has a clique. Okay. You know, each two, we are ten, so two, 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 and you know. Even though it's three, okay. Yeah, yeah. Only so how, how was it like? How was yeah. it like? Okay. Well, growing up, it was for me. It was almost a divide. The older ones seems to be more in charge than the younger ones, so we didn't have. So people felt oppressed. Yes. Yeah, but in their defense, in, in, in our Nigerian system, okay. yes. the, the older yes. ones are semi-parents. Yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. But isn't that going to make us not have a freedom of expression? You, you talk about that from now. Okay, you want to express yourself as a child. Be able to express yourself. Were you, express yourself. Were, you, were you an older child? Were you a middle child? Were you okay, I was the middle child. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So you had the balance. Yes, I had the balance. Had the balance. Yes. Let me just put it that way. Okay. I could express myself to my younger ones. But, 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 uh, as a child, I was calm. So I didn't really have you issues. You become coming to Bella. Coming to Bella. Yeah. Bella has been looking like it. Yeah. <laughs> so what's an ideal? What's what do you think is an environment that could help an ideal family be successful? Talk okay. about it. Like your experience as a child. Okay. Um, for the parent of the child, I would advise the parents of the child to create this togetherness with the children. Mm, okay. you, get, you create this together, togetherness with the children, make them love each other, okay. you, you get, bring them closer to each other, you get, and love them, talk to them, you get, if, they, if you see that there's a disconnection That's between nice. the children, you try and bring them more closer okay. Okay. To, to together okay. and probably advise them, tell them this is not how they are not supposed to live, okay. that they are together. together. Yes. 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 What Bella, what Bella just said, now here comes um, the treaties. You know we have the treaties. Okay. To make family bond and come close together. The first one is time. Okay. 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 Family need to spend time together mm. as a family. Okay. They need quality times. They should spend quality times together. Mm -hmm. You know, do things together. Get mm. involved with each other. Okay. Then the second one has to do with talk. Mm. They have to talk. That, that, that is what yeah. is really missing from that bigger yes. families. Yes. That yes. They, don't they don't talk. talk. You don't talk. talk. You, you sound certain. Share stories. Yes and okay. information together hmm. like when i talk to Ajiro most times i get to know her more hmm. so that's that brings closeness okay. we talk off tone we share ideas like when my kids they they hmm. talk they come from school like see what happened when they're talking you see the excitement hmm. and they, they express yeah. themselves yeah. 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 
I'm saying that the story is very nice. Okay, okay. But I do not believe that this conversation is happening because the family is small. This conversation is happening right now because our parenting style in this part of the world has changed. Yes. Even when we had just the same one child, two child, three children, or you have 25 children, you still looked at your parents with fear and trembling back in the day when we had the authoritarian parenting style. But we have really changed in this country. We've adopted a new kind of parenting child where the child is allowed to have a soul, a personality. You can yes. even tell your mom, mommy, see, because I don't like this change. Change. Yeah, 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 yeah. change. I do not change. believe that as parents size. Is this that made them not speak. I think it was because the parenting style was different. You still okay. had to look at your parents with fear and trembling but in okay. comparison to the children of this day yeah. and time. I understand where you're coming from with the fear and trembling. Okay. But I still believe that the parents have a role to play in that Yes, and definitely. Because growing up as a child, I used to play with my dad. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, growing up, Mm -hmm. yes, it's very tender. It was when I started maturing that I know I drew back. But uh, growing up as a child, I had a bond. You're the last, in aren't you? Last in Obviously, you had a bond with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm also the last. I have a bond with my father. He was my guy. Why do you? Why was my guy? Why the both of you have bonds with your dad? Let me tell you guys a good story. Now, when I was growing up, my dad used to do this thing. Dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Now, my dad used to do this thing. When he'd come back from work, really angry, we just frown and walk into the house. Go to he had his office in the house. Go to the office, slam the door, this, and then everybody would be afraid. But not me, exactly. because he was my guy. So one day, when he came and just did the thing, slam the door, this, me said, I enter the room, slam the door, this. And I saw that what he does is that when he's coming from work, he goes to this fast food restaurant that I will not mention the name and buys food and big turkey. And he doesn't want to share. So he was pretend that he was he was angry and slammed the door. So when I come back, I shot at you. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, daddy, it's not going to work. He was like, okay, whenever I come again, he wants to see me just do like this. You said, follow me. I said, I'm not your uncle. I can't stop for once. Or to my mother, I can't so coming back to the discussion we have a choice do you think uh, parents have a whole lot to play in the cliques that happen in bigger families yes. okay ah. Still, Nigeria still parents. Personal. Because, because <laughs> if you're watching that, you're from Nigeria, I'm not getting funny. She's sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean anything, but I believe that there are people out there who really need to hear this. Growing up as a child, I I was I the last child, and then I always the only reason why I felt like last child was because there was a tag to it. You're the last child. Gang, gang. Growing up as a child, we had cliques because my parents had people they were close to. No offense to my dad and my mom. Okay. But my parents no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Feel had it. cooler people they were just close to. The rest of us felt like Jara. Do you understand? Yeah. So yeah. We, 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 we built our closeness amongst ourselves. I think that's what without, I said. Without the I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, So, so how can family. parents of bigger families make, and, it, and it's not possible, you understand, to make everybody feel loved equally, mm -hmm. but how can children of bigger families have a sense of belonging? Create, for me, I believe parents should create the togetherness. There should be times family time together yeah, that was okay. 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 we didn't have such time yeah. in my family in bigger mm -hmm. family yes we didn't have such time because i believe that they felt the responsibilities because growing up now you get to understand better you, you felt the responsibilities were just so much so at that time tokoma and spend time was not the thing i was doing then you know they had fees to pay they had they had to Make Precisely. Sure okay. to, they have to make sure there are lots of things that we, we get settled. They cannot do it for dinner when they are having dinner. Mr. Okay. Okay. I want to talk about the three You did not finish the okay. yeah, yeah, I yes. talked about time. I talked about talk. talking. Okay. There are stories and uh, sharing stories and information. And the, the, the last T is teamwork. Okay. 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 Yes. You know, most times when people you put you, people want to do things together. Mm -hmm. When they come together, let's read, they might not like themselves, hmm. but when they do things together, I see them like themselves and respect themselves. Yeah. Because sometimes I tell my kids, Oh, yeah, see, you put room, you have scattered it. Oh, yeah, arrange, arrange it. it, you arrange the book, arrange the clothes, mm. sweep. Then they do it, and that's teamwork. Oh, they are achieving one day, day. Day. <laughs> one goal. So when will you start with this? Yeah, yeah. 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 Were you, did you have any vacuum or maybe siblings together, you know, having siblings? Yeah. How was it like? Well, 
though I, I was really I kind of a way though. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But oh. <laughs> It was okay because I didn't grow up alone. I grew up with my aunties. Okay. Get, okay. So they come to the house, spend time together. Mm. So I didn't feel I didn't really feel this this connection. I didn't okay. I didn't really feel this there was vacuum. vacuum. Yes, uh -huh. So it was so small mouth. You get okay. him. I when people go ask outside, I'm like, ah, she's my elder sister. Mm -hmm. I am the younger one. Oh, you exactly. get so <laughs> I feel like I have to come to the defense of, of parents now. Okay. I think a, a lot of us um, ex have an expectancy for our parents, and I think it's amazing that you, you require certain things from your parents. It is, is, is what you should do. But I feel like sometimes we forget that a lot of times these people do not come with a parenting manual. Yes. Right? You, you, you don't just go to the hospital and then when the kid come out, they're like, ah, madam, my boy, you take the handbook. <laughs> 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 There's usually nothing like that. So these people have to learn on the job. For one thing, I noticed that there, there are some tester kids in the family. Now, what I call a tester kid. First bones. First, yeah. the, the first few children, the first when year, they try to yeah. try out the thing. Really, they, they have the first child, they do tough love. If you just say, eh, yes. correct. You just say, eh. Mm. And then the child isn't coming out as how they want it. Then the next child, they, they start having conversation with that one. Like, okay, let's try talking. Let's see how this goes. And then maybe that one comes out too soft. And they're like, okay, let's mix it. And they, all of this the next child. Right. Sorry, all, all, they, all of this They're just trying to, to, to get it together. Do you understand? To get it together. Oh, and yeah, especially yeah. because in, in their time, in the kind of parents that they had, I mean, they had the parents that had the fundamental of authoritarianism. You know, they didn't even have a very, very strong bond with their, with their, own, with their own parents. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I had an aunt that used to tell us that because she was an extra child, what do I mean by an extra child? Her father had her outside wedlock. Okay. Okay. So the, the, the after she was had as the extra child her mother dropped her and left mm. so her stepmom would always tell her according to her her stepmom would tell her yeah you know i'm not your mother so there are things that i cannot do you know back in the days when we we're really more um and spiritual and we had more of our, our traditional religions when her mother was when her stepmom was taking the other kids to the shrine to get anointed and stuff she yeah. said ah you know i'm not your mother I can't carry you to this place. Yeah. You know, I'm not your mother. So for that reason, she the father, neglected. yes, and then the father felt that for some reason he had to be closer to that child oh. because every other person was neglecting that child. child. And then now that they are all adults, according to her, now that they are all adults, when they're making when they're making decisions at home or, or things are happening, they'll be like, ah, go and ask daddy now. Is it not you that he likes? No. Ah, go and ask daddy now. Is it not you? So in the mind of the father, he was trying to make sure that this child wasn't feeling neglected. But you know, sometimes you just tend to love one more than the other. Is it possible for yes, the parents possible. to love? Actually, yes, is it you possible don't have equal right, love? equal love. Because that child, does, does the particular child does it stress you? Fam. So are you saying that child that 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 you are you are you okay? You say she wants to love. You say she wants to get this. 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 Are you saying that parents do not love their children equally? Yes. They don't. They are saying for myself. I try. I try. I I I love all my kids, but I just tend to love a particular one more because it doesn't stress me. Which one? Which one? Because you don't want to say it. It's not you. That person is reciprocal. Yeah. Okay. Somebody loves you, 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 you love the person. You love Joyce. Precisely. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, you yeah, 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 we the children have a role to play as they grow up but their to children a relationship with their parents okay. i want to counter it their because children i, I yes. understand their children but you grow to a certain stage and then you begin to understand how your family works so you're saying in adulthood or I adolescence i'll give an example okay okay, okay. okay. i was i was talking to a child a mother and a child and mother was like ah this my daughter understands me she's nine mm -hmm. And then she beat her for something and she just spoke to me. The way she came and said, Mommy, how are you? Mommy, I'm sorry now. Yes, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, I, I know that you're angry. She's a child. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she, she built it now. That mother and that child will always have a bond. I'm entirely yes, sorry. Let me tell me was born like that. I, yes, I, the I, child I, was born like that because kids are different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you raise kids with the same, um, you, you instill the same um, values. values, ethics, and morals on them. But you see, their personality are different. So that's a different thing altogether. So you're saying that you yes, can give, they are different. So you're saying that you could give children the same sense yes. of training, but it but turns out but different. I yes, I believe that you bring all your children the same, the, the same kind of training. I just, I don't know why I feel like I'm countering with everyone, and I really apologize. I'm a nice person, but you're I don't mind. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that you give each children. For example, now in my entire life since I was born to this day, my father only spanked me once. Okay. But let my brother come on set. He knows a different daddy. So I do not believe that all children are raised the exact same way. No, to no. some no. extent, no. but they behave differently that. and sometimes you act differently. Okay, but you okay. them. Because my first son likes playing ball. And if he does anything wrong, I can tell him. Your punishment is you will not play football. I think and it feels bad. I cannot tell my second child that because he doesn't like football. football. Yes. But in any way, I can. Negative way. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. So it was so bad. You can handle them differently, but you give them different, like, morals and values should be the same. Respect your elders, love your brothers. You know, okay, that's yes. some basic things you just teach them. Everybody's okay. so okay. yes. 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 according to their capability, yes. and according to their personality. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, yes. 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 Okay. I want to ask. Um, huh. yeah. As a personal child, what was your bond with your Just call that a personal child. child. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> child. <laughs> child. I beg your pardon. Yeah, yeah. Child. What was your? Did it? Did did did? I know you felt alone, so you didn't have any um um children your age, uh, rather. Did to you have anybody? With. Any uh, like yes, you were in your age group? My age group. Yeah. Okay. Actually, in my house, no. It was just myself, you get. No one that you your experience. <laughs> I want to talk about your experience in in sense that what did it build for you? Did you have disconnection? Did you no. with younger children? No, no, you, no, 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 no. Like, I was always, no. I was always going to my uncle's place okay. oh, yeah, I mean, yes, I yes. with the so every vacuum was yes filled. it was filled i don't really have there this was a time when you felt no no i wish i have okay, uh, no. siblings <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most times though most times you get you didn't miss anything switch. don't worry uh, you need, you most need, times uh, though yeah, so coming to our day and age ladies this should be our last question okay do you feel bigger families should we have bigger families in our day and age in respect to inculcation of values how children feel okay you know, do you feel like we should have smaller families in our day and age or we should still have bigger families basically well let me come in time has really changed okay? mm -hmm. everything has changed those days we had bigger families most mothers they don't go to work they're not educated mm -hmm. like now we are educated and times are hard it's money now to raise Stand children. I was going to ask you. Times are hard. Population so is real. Slow yeah. 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 Because financial stress is there. <laughs> financial stress is okay. there. It's a big body. You want to give them the best education. Mm -hmm. You want to raise them up well. You want to give them everything that you know they need to be happy. So the smaller, the better for you. Okay. For that, yes. Okay. The Bella, smaller, the better what do you, you think? The smaller family is better. Okay. Yeah, because the smaller family, it's, yeah, to our economy. Like what she just said, smaller family is better. You just create the, you, you and your spouse. You just talk about how this is how you want to you want to do it. So you don't want much children. Are you giving your best, yes, yes, to raise you, them. Those children, you raise them well in the way of. No, we society. Want, no, yes. I mean, it's a love China one child policy thing. Oh, not, not one child. Okay, not one child. Not one child. Not one child. child. Not one child. <laughs> For me, I go with the smaller unit because growing up in a large family, I saw ah. a lot of, uh, I saw a lot of politics. Uh, I'll hold you. Family yeah. politics. I think that's, that's going to be a topic for, for me, another day. Family me, politics. I felt, I felt that I, I grew up saying I will not give birth to many children. How many? How many children? How many? That's not consigned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't want to give birth to many children because I want to have time for my children, children. Mm -hmm. i want to be able to say okay i know what you're involved with the smaller the better yeah. so mm -hmm. nobody feels that oh so that's how this one or that one so that we know where we are we know what we are doing <laughs> yeah. so i just i don't i i from your experience, experience. Exactly. Yeah. my experience i feel that 
parents should focus more on their children and grow them better. The smaller, the better. Hey, Joyce, so wrap it up for us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, as much as I hate to be a stereotype, I just, I just have to say, I think about money a lot. Ibo mm -hmm. woman. A lot. I hate to be a stereotype. <laughs> children are expensive. Do you know how much for diapers? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thank you so much for that reaction. Ah. Mm -hmm. Children are very expensive, okay? <laughs> and the, the times are hard. Now, I was having this argument at, at my nail salon when I go, I go to make my nails. And then all they were saying was that, ah, if there's money, why not? Have nine, have yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my yeah, mother have children. ten. Yeah, yeah. And we are very close. Yeah, so me, mm -hmm. once I have my money like this, I'm going to have ten. Mm -hmm. The Nigerian yeah, population is growing extremely fast. Yeah, so we fast. do not need anybody having ten children, seven children, eight Eight children, nine children. Yeah. Do you know? I think three or four is fine. Okay. Although personally, I would I would have liked to try it out. I come from a smaller family, right? And of course, the clique thing still existed, and I wasn't in the clique. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I I would think, what if we were like? Now. Mm -hmm. I, I used to think, what if we were like four or five? Maybe oh, I would have my oh, own guy. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So I never had my own guy. So then I think, hmm, maybe I would just have like four or five. But I understand the risk of childbearing. I understand how expensive children are. I understand the disadvantages you have on the economy of our country. country. So please yes. and please, I certainly believe that we should have less children. Okay. Yes, okay. Family. Okay. okay. And I, I think they've had a very exciting conversation. But I don't, know, I don't know if we drove home a point. Where do we stand? Are we saying that bigger families are more closely knit or smaller families are? I don't think we, we got to it's, a vantage it's, point. It's, it's, it's very easy. Yeah. Yeah. There is no yeah. doubt yeah. the parents. It depends on the parents. The children. parents decided to involve I will take children. a yes or no. Yes or no for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no. I don't have a no. You don't have a yes or you don't have a no. No yes, no, no. <laughs> It depends yeah. on how the kids are raised. Yes. So we'll do a rerun election uh, later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for joining us this Saturday morning and allowing us into your homes and into your hearts. We'll be back on Monday to have even more conversation with you. My name is Joyce Strix. And my name is Neki Moyo. And I'm Jerome Wegede. I'm Bella Dudu. I'm Aisha Deko. And this has been the weekend edition of The Breakfast Show on TSM and Jerry TV. Remember to follow us on all our socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And of course, to subscribe to our YouTube page. Thank you. Have a great morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Bye.